Good morning. So, little friend did not sleep very well last night. Um, she uh, didn't go to bed till 12. Um, and uh, she was asleep. She's starting to stir. So this is going to be a really, really quick live. Um, so I'm going to put some makeup on because I am popping out this morning. Um, but I just wanted to show you some really quick ways um, of not looking so tired. Um, so when you haven't had much sleep, um, your hydration and things like that to your skin is going to reduce. Um, so you need to make sure that you put that back in. So um, looking at your skincare is, is really, really good um, and important. So if you um, want to have a chat with me about that, then um, please do. Because um, everybody's needs are um, individual. Um, so I can chat to you a little bit about um, what you might need. Um, but as a quick hydration, so uh, a cleanser that's not going to dry out your skin. Um, a moisturiser, uh, which is going to put the moisture back in. Maybe a facial oil, because I love uh, a due date, which is facial oil. It's going to add in um, extra um, hydration, also balance any oils out as well. So if you do have oily skin, you can still use it. Um, and then um, extra, um, so underneath your eyes, which is where um, you're going to notice that you haven't had much sleep, adding in something um, like Sotox, um, which is um, a serum, um, can help with um, around the eyes. Um, there is also like eye serums and things like that, um, but I really like the Sotox as one, um, as an all-rounder, so you can do it around your eyes, you can actually do it around your face as well for like fine lines and wrinkles. So, off we go. Right, let's see how long we've got. So, I'm going to be using um, some concealer and some foundation today. Um, so the concealer I'm going to use, because um, I'm using it for cover-up, um, I'm using the one that's most uh, closest to my skin tone. Um, if I wanted to highlight, then I could use one that's lighter, or if I wanted to contour, I could use one that's darker, which I haven't got in this bun. Um, so yeah, so I'm um, going to be using my concealer. With the concealer and foundation, they are both wax-based, um, so they go on really, really nice and smooth and give you that flawless finish. Um, so with the uh, concealer, I'm going to use uh, the same blender for my concealer and my foundation, but I'm going to use the little pointy end because it's more precision um, for the concealer. So I make uh, with uh, the blender, I wet it and then rinse it so it's just damp, and that just helps to um, add in some moisture and then smooth everything out as well. Um, so I prefer to use a, a damp blender. Some people like to use a dry one um, and that gives you more fuller coverage because it's not um, got any moisture that's um, blending it. It's like just um, just pretty much product. Um, but I prefer to have it a little bit damp and I find that it goes on a lot easier for me and a lot smoother um, and then it doesn't feel dry. So I'm just going to add that on. Um, I do put a little bit over my eye as well because it, then it works as a like a priming base for any um, eyeshadows I'm going to put on. So as you can see, I already feel more awake and not so tired. Right. This side as well. And we're working on the time of the baby crying. It's like... Um, Mission Impossible. I think the lack of sleep has made me go a bit crazy. No, she hasn't been too bad. She was just, um, took ages to go to sleep last night. And you know when you're really tired to begin with, to actually, it would have been better if she'd gone to sleep a little bit quicker and so I'd had some sleep to begin with. Um, and then, what feed was it? Five o'clock feed this morning. She wouldn't have gone to sleep. Wanted to cry. Um, she was like, I don't want to go to sleep, I would like to sit here and play. Lovely. Right, so just dabbing around the last bit of concealer just to spread it around. Right, next I'm going to use the flat end of my um, bud. Now, with the foundation, if you've not tried our foundation before, then it's worth tr uh, tr uh, trying. Um, it's a wax base. It, closest to like a cream foundation. Now I have tried fit cream foundations before and I've not really got on with them, um, but this is completely different. So it, as I say, it's wax based and it goes on really, really easily. Um, now if you're wanting like a thicker coverage, then I'd use a brush or um, a dry blender, but this gives me the coverage that I want for during the day. And even for me, the, I still class this as like full coverage but right hello we're working against the time before the baby wakes up 
Isabella is my client. And I'm actually doing quite well. I've got my donation. There we go. Right. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. So, one bud. Um, so my um, under eyes concealer and my foundation. Now, I like to um, set it into place um, with a powder. So I used to use a translucent powder, so it's um, nice and fine and um, clear, so it doesn't change anything. However, um, I have fell in love with the um, colour powder. Um, it's really, really easy to use. You can use it as a contour, you can use it as highlight, you can use it as um, eyeshadows. I like the deep, deep, deeper ones for the eyeshadows. But it's really great at setting your makeup. This one adds a little bit more colour to our face, um, but it also it just sets it in and diffuses everything. It's like um, an anti, anti no, a blurring effect, not an anti-blur. We don't want an anti-blur, we want a blur. Um, so it's really good for photos and stuff like that. Um, if you're going anywhere where you're gonna have to take lots of photos. Um, but yeah, it's, a, it's one that's been used for Many years it was created by Christian Jewel, um, and uh, yeah, so it's used quite a lot behind the in front of the camera, behind the camera. You don't want well, doesn't matter if you use it behind the camera, no one can see. Um, but yeah, it just blurs everything out, but it also sets your foundation in place. Now, you don't have to use this, um, but I love to use it so. I just always add it on. Right, um, let's carry on while we can. Let's see how far we can go. Right, I'm gonna add a little bit of eyeshadow on today. Um, I'm just gonna go with a bit of base. She's gonna stop me in a minute. <coughs> but we'll, we'll continue while we can. So I've just added like a light, I'll show you what I've used in a second. But since we're on a time limit, I'm just using. I think that's my time. We're going to get into Ratty because she's just started going wah, which well, she's going to kick off in a minute. She just she goes from naught to zero in like seconds. So yeah, just quickly, I've just quickly just popped a little bit of eyeshadow. I will be putting some liner on in a minute, um, and then do my brows and stuff. But I just have to get her sorted first because she does come first. So I've used this little um, pink number on the ends, um, and then this light blondie. Blondie colour. I don't know why I call it blondie colour, but it's like a yellowy, gold colour. Perfect. Right. Thanks for joining. Any questions, you know where I am. Um, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.